White House comment line. May I have your comments for the President? Yes, ma'am. Um, if the American people stood up for the injustice that is from the police killing, would that be justified? White House comment line. May I have your comments for the president? Yes, ma'am. Um, if the American people stood up for the injustice that is from the police killing, would that be justified? RicoDukes.com official campaign website. You want to kill the revolution, don't you? But ain't nothing you can do when the people decide that they done had enough. So, you know. You built this thing. You know, you're just starting to get real credit for that, okay? I don't know if you know that. You're just starting to get, you built the nation. We all built it, but you were such a massive part of it. Bigger than you were given credit for. Does that make sense? Right? African Americans built this nation. You built this nation. You know, you're just starting to get real credit for that, okay? I don't know if you know that. You're just starting to get, you built the nation. We all built it, but you were such a massive part of it. Bigger than you were given credit for. Does that make sense? Right? I put amendment on that. It would include hanging by a tree also. I put amendment on that. It would include hanging by a tree also. And, uh, and also, uh, I would like to sign on to your bill, sir. Thank you. I Our children are captives to unhinged Marxist educators who are pushing inappropriate sexual racial and political material on our children from the youngest possible age they don't they're not old enough to think the current education system is so upside down that school prayer is banned but drag shows are absolutely allowed do whatever you want you can't teach the bible but you can teach children that men get pregnant and that kindergartners are allowed to pick their own gender you can't talk about the Bible. You would not trust these people to babysit your children for 30 minutes, and we should not let them educate millions of Americans. Hey, what's up, America? I'm your host for uh, They Feel Truth TV, your 2024 presidential candidate, Rico Dukes. Uh, I'm going to talk to y'all a little minute briefly about uh, some of my campaign agendas. My campaign agenda, as you see, well, y'all might can't see my shirt. As y'all see, my presidential campaign shirts. So um, I'll be campaigning. I start my camp I'm starting my campaign at the end of this year, first of next year, 23. And I'll be out on the streets paving, talking to the people, selling my shirts, doing my book tours, uh, holding rallies. I'll be doing a lot of numerous different things. And I want y'all to support uh, the youngest presidential candidate in history. One of my campaign presidential agendas is to raise the hourly wage pay to $14 to $17 an hour nationwide. So a family of four will be able to sustain themselves. A family of four or five will be able to sustain themselves. I aim to end um, the age limit to collect your retirement check. Why did you have to wait till you are 65? to collect your retirement check when you didn't work for 30 years. You have worked for 30 years to collect your retirement check. Now you retire at the age of 55. Now you can't collect your retirement check till you're 65. Why they, Why do they um, not give you your retirement check till you're 65? Because they, are, they already understand and have did their statistics and know that 75% of Americans don't 
live to see 65 years old. So where does that money go back to if the uh, the person that retired that died don't have anyone that has the knowledge to know how to get their retirement money um, transferred over to them? So that money goes back to the state. I aim to end um, high health care. I aim to give try to give free health care to every American in the country if it's possible. I aim to end um, poverty, poverty in minority neighborhoods and build better schools and better neighborhoods. The reason why the neighborhoods are like this, they section us out as they, they, they section the neighborhoods out to the ones that they want to be poverty and they want to be minority. They section them out. Have you ever notice when you go into other neighborhoods, when you go into the suburb neighborhoods, have you ever noticed how the streets are all real concrete? But when you go into the private minority neighborhoods, pretty much majority of them, they black tar or they got holes or they got what they went and dug holes into the concrete and they patched it up with iron patches. That's to signify the private minority neighborhoods across America. And if you notice, this is going on all across America. I aim to end. Um, Y'all have to bear with me because this here really was like a, a spur of the moment. I ain't got nothing wrote down. So I'm off the top of my head. I'm not one of them candidates that's, that believe in writing a whole lot of stuff down. I believe in talking to the people directly from my heart. And my my, my speech and my words is come as I go on with my um my procedure, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't do a lot of written down stuff. I'm not like those other candidates who, who practice what they're going to say to the people for two and three weeks and four and five months. I just see it directly from my heart. God, give me the words to say with, to y'all, to the people. So that's what I go on. Um, but as of right now, I'm just thinking about all my campaign agendas. I am in human trafficking of our women and children from country to country, from state to state, because the international, um, abduction, law, which is the Haji Convention. They are in control of all this right here. They are in control of human trafficking. This is what they do. They know what is going on, America. They know what is going on. Y'all think that these kidnappings of our women and children are just happening randomly? No, these are planned attacks. Now, I'm not saying that all of them are planned attacks. 65% of them are all planned attacks, America on our women and children. This is to break the economy down. This is to force the economy and the people to depend on the government, the government, the same government that they have been depending on to do things for them and to protect them from um, um, injustice and crimes that have failed to do their job. So this is the plan of what they aim to do to the people, to break the people down, to make you dependent on the government. Um, I aim to end, um, I, well, first of all, I aim to legalize recreational marijuana in all 50 states of America. This is one of my biggest campaigns agenda to uh, legalize recreational marijuana because recreational marijuana, they're selling recreational, they're selling recreational marijuana all across America. But yet you'll go to a job or whatever and they won't give you a job because you you, you come up positive for marijuana. So I aim to end, I mean, I aim to, 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 to create to while recreational marijuana is legal. It's legal, meaning that jobs would not long would no longer be able to discriminate against you for um, having a dirty human. Meaning they would not be able to test you for marijuana, now, any other drugs, strong drugs, cocaine, heroin, uh, methamphetamine, things of that nature. There, then yeah, but marijuana that would be excluded from a drug test from a job. You would no longer be able to be discriminated for having marijuana, being positive for marijuana. Oh, uh, I am in mass incarceration. Um, up under the High G Convention, USM 94, Foreign Central, Power, Foreign Central Authority. Um, I aim to end mass incarceration. Mass incarceration is illegal because no corporation in the United States of America has ever been legal, including Congress, because they all reside in the territory of Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is a territory that lacks power, authority, and jurisdiction. I have won this in over 50 federal court cases. Dukes versus Lee was the first case that ever broke history to prove this right. Uh, I aim to hold all law enforcement and all um, officials ac ac accountable for their crimes and action against the people. You, no one would be above the law with me as being 2024 president of the United States of America. I aim to disassemble the United States government away from the American people, from the 50 American states to where the people will govern themselves. Every entity that the U.S. government has gain from the taxpayers dollars i aim to um have the people control their own entities the people are the power to these entities that um they have paid for um y'all see what you got from trump you see what you got from Biden. you see what you got from obama 
None of these presidential candidates have ever gave you, the people, anything. Yet they have gave the corporations billions and billions and billions after billions. But yet they have failed to take care of you, the very people who are they boss, you, the American people. You see what Trump did. You see what Biden did. What other chance can you stand to have by seeing what I can do? Someone that comes from poverty with you, someone that comes from a minority neighborhood, someone that has a background and that has actually been through things, somebody that actually knows what's going on in the poverty minority communities and what needs to be and what shouldn't be in the poverty minority community. How can we sit or how can we continue to allow these politicians who've never been foot in any Property of minority neighborhood until it's time for them to be elected or re-elected or whatever the case may be. How can we continue to allow them to rule over our communities when they have no knowledge of what we need to survive in our communities? Because for one, they never come to any of these communities unless they're asking for your vote. For two, they don't live in these communities, so they don't know the conditions that the people in these communities are in. So they don't know the right um, result to try to issue to the people to better that community. So we need people that has actually have been and and that's that's been and and that are still there in our community with our people that are suffering today. And I am one of those presidential candidates who are is truly from the private minority neighborhoods of Shreveport, uh, Louisiana, Cedar Grove. Um, I've been I'm in Dallas, Texas right now. I've been all around through Dallas, Texas to the south. I have seen how the homeless sleep on the ground. I aim to end homeless. I aim to end I aim to give veterans a better pay, a higher pay. They go and fight these wars and have no clue on really what they fight these wars for, but come back home and their own people that they went and fought these wars for would not give them the medical attention they need, would not give them the housing resources they need, would not give, would not give them the just the basic supplies that they need to survive life every day after going through something so traumatic like this for this country. But yet they come home and this country forgets all about them. So I aim to raise the veteran pay for veterans all across the country. Um, like I said, I wasn't going to talk about this. I ain't going to go into this too much. You know, uh, I just want to kind of give y'all a rundown on what's going on and things of this nature right here and part of my campaign agenda. And it's going to be an honor to serve y'all. It's going to be an honor to just run in this race. And, you know, um, who would ever thought that a person that's from my character and from where I come from will be doing all the great things that I'm doing and I'm achieving? Who would have ever thought that? Who would have ever thought that? Never give up on your dreams. Never give up on what you believe in, America. I'm your host for Day Fear True TV, Rico Dukes. I'm your presidential, 2024 presidential candidate. I'm the son of Dr. Hugh P. Newton, the attorney and founder of Day Fear Truth Federal Government of America, the president and CEO of Day Fear Truth Federal Reserve Bank. Y'all be sure to check my clothing line out, RCDHPN. Y'all be sure to buy y'all some presidential campaign gear. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> Be sure, you know, y'all be sure to check my book out, buy my book, True Story of a King, Son of Hugh P. Newton. I'll be selling this book on my presidential campaign book tour. It has a lot of great information in here, a lot of facts to put in here. Y'all be sure to check my book out, uh, part one to this book, which is Ultimate Family Betrayal. Ultimate Family Betrayal is True Story of a King, Son of Hugh P. Newton. Once again, I'm your 2024 U.S. presidential candidate. Y'all vote for me. 2024, real revolution change. I'm what we need. Peace.